1715, a Maryland law declared, and I quote, it is illegal for a white woman to bear a child fathered by a Negro, end quote. That law was only tested in the courts once. In 1957, a Baltimore teenager, Shirley Billy, bore a child that, with the man she loved. Shirley is white, her husband black, and his name is John. And as Denise Koch shows us, their courage knocked down that law and altered legal history in our state. September 1954, the night of the I Am an American parade, the Honey Boys are hired to sing at a white teen social club. Honey Boys lead singer John Billy dances with 18 year old Shirley Howard to the tune of In the Still of the Night. One dance was all it took. They fell in love. And today, in their 80s, here they still are. Shirley suffered a stroke last year, and now John takes care of her. I learned how to cook. I learned how to <laughs> cook every day. But this is not a simple love story. Shirley's family was outraged when at 19 she became pregnant with John's baby. Her mother telling her, you are not allowed to bring that baby in my house. So the morning after Shirley delivered, social services took him from her. At night, she was introduced to the baby the next morning, the baby was gone. And then a few weeks later, the police came in the night and arrested Shirley, put her in the Pine Street Women's Jail, and indicted her under Section 513 of Article 27, giving birth to a Negro man's child. She said she, she cried all night long while she was in that cell, you know. Yeah. And, uh, Shirley's case made headlines in all the local papers, in Jet Magazine, and John could do nothing to help her. Here's the whole city, whole state, you know. She ain't got nobody, you know. I don't think I could be as brave as you were, no matter how much I love someone. Shirley's case went to court, and in April of 1957, a judge found the law unconstitutional, ensuring no other woman would ever face that horror. Shirley and John got married in D.C., where it was legal, but it took them two years to get their son back. Somebody read it, uh, adopted. She said, what you can do? She told me what to do. And you were able to get him before he was adopted. Before he was adopted, and that was, oh, God. John's music career chronicled in their home flourished, but Shirley's notoriety got her fired more than once. She couldn't hold a job. They went on to have three children, but for decades, John could not move in Shirley's world. And when she took her mixed-race children with her, she often encountered racial hatred, even in the five and dime. A woman came up to me and said, what are these? Yeah, yeah. I said they're children. Those children now have children. John and Shirley's long marriage has been spent in this home. They have chronicled their story in a book. An interracial marriage is now not only legal, it is generally accepted. You can't find more love than what we have. <laughs> no regrets, Shirley? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's a good man. You're a good woman. You know, that's why I'm a good man. <laughs> One makes the other. You know. For WJZ, I'm Denise Koch.